we have been forced to pay about 50 million ransom. Ibarapa community cries out. Indigents of Iganga mm -hmm. community in Ibarapa, not local government area of Oyo State, on Sunday recounted how they had been forced to pay about 50 million in ransom for wanted cases of kidnapping in the area. Beyond being victims of kidnapping, the residents of Ibarapa community also recounted regular experience of invasion of their farms and raping of their women by herders. Secretary of Iganga Development Advocates Lawal Akim, among other indigents of the community, made these disclosures when a delegation of the Oyo State Government and the Commissioner of Police, Mrs. Ngozi Onadeko, paid an on the spot visit to troubled communities in the Barapa and Okiogun areas of the state. Akim particularly fingered the Seriki Fulani of Iganga, Alhaji Salu Abdukadeo, for complicity in different cases of criminality in Ibarapa zone. The caretaker chairman of Ibarapa North West Local Government Council mm -hmm. Development Area, OKDG, Ulushagun, also corroborated the allegation leveled against the Seriki Fulani of Iganga, saying that the traditional ruler had been fingered in the series of security challenges in the area mm -hmm. many times. Another resident, Taiwo Adeogbo, said no fewer than 15 women had been raped in recent weeks. On his part, a member of the State House of Assembly, Honorable Peter Ujedokun, decried that the peace in Ibarapa land was punctuated when herders began attacking members of the community on their farms, kidnapping persons and committing crimes. The interaction in the Ganga saw two Fulani leaders, the Seriki Fulani of Igbo Ora, Alhaji Idris Abubakar, and the Seriki Fulani of Erua, Alhaji Sule Muhammad, asked for forgiveness from those offended, adding that they are ready to facilitate a peaceful coexistence in Ibarapa land. Addressing the gathering of traditional rulers, government officials and Fulani leaders in Iganga. Commissioner of Police, Onadeko, sued for peaceful coexistence. While calling for the cooperation of the all and sundry with the police, she assured of a conclusive investigation into cases brought to her notice. Onadeko said, we have come to assess and listen to you over the incidents that happened. I want to appeal to every one of us to be calm and ensure there is peace. If there is no peace in the community, there won't be growth and development. I want to appeal to the youth. We have listened and they have interpreted all your complaints and I want to say you should not spoil your case by using force. We are a new team. Bring out all the cases you have, put them in an orderly manner and we will make sure that justice is done. So I want to enjoin all of you to be peaceful and live with one another in peaceful manner. If we live in peace in this community, we should be able to identify kidnappers, robbers and rapists. It does not matter where you come from, whether you are Igbo, Yoruba or Hausa. Actually, we have the good and bad ones. Criminality is not only ascribed to a particular ethnic group. It cuts across all the ethnic groups. Also speaking at Iganga, a retired commissioner of police, Fatai Owoseni, said the state government was working closely with the police to fish out criminal elements. He disclosed that 51 suspected criminals linked to kidnapping and other crimes committed in Okiogun and Ibarapa areas had already been arrested, adding that why some had been charged to court Others will soon be arraigned. Owoseni also appealed to the community leaders, youth, and also Fulani residents to eschew violence and live in peace. Thank you for listening to this news. Ngozi Onadeku, that is 
a very brilliant um, observation and advice. No wonder you were, you were deployed to handle this case. Yeah, okay. Let's see what's going to happen at the end. Um, just like um, uh, it was said and explained to you by the community, you can see that is to tell you that uh, um, Sunday Igugo's action to that Seriki Abu Abdukar Deo or whatever his name is, uh, Sunday Igugo's action on him is a very good one. There is no regret mm -hmm. in the action Sunday Igugo carried out in that Seriki's home. Because if you watch it very well, you see that the same thing Seriki has been doing to the people of that community is what he wants to try to with Sunday Guru. But when he saw what is more than him, he ran with his family. In fact, I don't advise Fulanis to come back to that town. I don't have that because I sense every sense of criminality in that Seriki. And any other Seriki, because this Seriki, I believe that they are the head of the Fulanese. So they are the one in charge. They are the one causing all of this havoc. They are the one causing this kidnapping that is going pl taking place. So there is no doubt that all these are happening because of them. So this issue of Edsman coming back i don't subscribe to it and i will never subscribe to it the apology is nonsense it's nonsense to me it doesn't make sense they should go they should just leave the community for good because the people have made up their mind not to see their presence in the community again you you agree with me that if these people are allowed to leave, this there will be there will be peace in Oyo and on those states. In fact, southwest at large, southwest at large, and that is what is going to happen. All right. So, um, my dear viewers, I crave your indulgence to come in and air your own side of the opinion concerning this news. Okay. Um, deem it fits to come in if you are new on this channel click on the subscription button as well as bell button to get updated whenever we upload any new videos thank you